Welcome to track number 10 of Principles of War. Are there some people outside? Hallelujah. Great. It's, it's sharing time now. So I'm going to be coming to you to tell us what you've learned so far at the camp. Why are you reading your notes as if you have an exam? I'm not asking you for points. Just anything you've learned, anything which has occurred to you. Should our buckets be in front or should you keep them here? Okay, you when Okay, I think that is even coming. So, all right. So, somebody from here should stand up and tell us what you've learned. I don't want to call anybody. I'm a Christian, so. <laughs> Just tell us what you've learned at the camp. What has blessed you at the camp. Yes. A lady, a lady. Fast. Fast. I'm counting four. Or I'm, I'm going to call. Wow. Yes. So tell us what you've learned at the camp. Have you been blessed anyway? <laughs> Very much. I'm very are you are you a first time? Is this your first no. camp? Right. Is this your first? No, it's not my. First. It's not your first. Good. Yeah. Um, I've been very blessed, and I've basically what we're learning is that nothing comes easily. Nothing comes by just appearing. Everything has to be fought for. Everything has to be got. So what I want in my life, I should fight for it. Even coming for this camp. I, I could easily not have come because there was a valid reason why I couldn't have come. But um, I realized that God was just telling me that the fact that I had to fight for the camp and come and then learn that I had to fight to be in the ministry, fight to get all that I'm hoping to get and be is, is wonderful. That's powerful. Yeah. No, I mean, what she's saying is a, it's a direct revelation she has had from the camp. Because she had to fight to come. Do you get me? She had to fight to come, only to come to the camp to also be taught about fight the good fight. So to her, God is preparing her for a future life of combativeness. She must be belligerent. Yes. Aggressive. So, what are two things you have to fight for? For a good future and in the Lord, for you. Actually, now I have to fight to be a strong Christian. A really, really strong Christian. You have to fight to be really strong. Really, really, really by really building really your muscles, <laughs> strong as in bodybuilding or strong way. No, like strong, um, like in prayer. Like I pray, uh, I can strong, pray. Spiritually yes. strong. I can pray, but I can do more. Only that I don't do it. You don't do it because so, many things compete for your yes. time and attention. But, but now you are going to fight to pray. Yes, please. That's good. And. Have more of Bible study because as Bishop was teaching us, like all the points are coming from different parts of the Bible, yeah. and it would take something else to connect it exactly. and put it under this heading. Yeah. Five the good friends. Clap your hands for her. God is speaking. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's true. It occurred to me too. That, I mean, it takes something else to connect. It really occurred to me. I mean, I was amazed at the content of the, you know, teaching and the message. It's deep. You know, and everybody must get the message on your, you know, and we don't have tape recorders now. What, what, what do you have? Sorry? MP3, CD. Do you, do you use cassette? Cassette player? Yeah, you must have it. No, listen very carefully. This camp is a matter. Yeah, it's a matter. Because the enemy, Bishop told us, the enemy we are fighting is a very, very wild enemy. You know, he, he's, he's very unconventional, merciless, ruthless. So, if you do not match his strength and his strategies, you will be blown away. Yeah, very soon you will be lying by the roadside receiving drips. Yeah, and others are passing by and going on. You see, so, it is very important what, what you are saying. To, to, to even connect these things and to know these things, you need to be a student of the Word of God. Amen. Which is one of the ways of developing yourself and making your tree good. The Word and all the forms it comes through. The written Word, the priest Word, the different things, the machanet, everything must come together for you to become what you desire to be. So, to be strong spiritually is one of the things you must fight for. You want to fight for. Yes. That is why. Why do you want to be strong spiritually? Um, um, first of all, if, if I'm not a strong Christian, I better not be a Christian. Yes. It's, it's almost nothing if I'm not a strong Christian. Yes. It, is, it is. I mean, the devil can just blow you away. Cry. You must be strong. You see, you must be strong. If you are not strong, then you must join him. Because where you are standing, you are, you are, you are, you are in enemy territory and you are not strong. So when the fire is coming, I tell you, you will not last. You know, so you, you, you have no option but to be strong. But what else are you fighting for? Um, Just two, uh, one more. Um, I'm fighting two. Get into the ministry, like on a different level, and to stay in the ministry too. See, to get into the ministry. So, what are you going to fight? Um, to get into the ministry. Right now, I have to fight not spending too much of my time in school, like more on books and stuff, and actually give the time to God. Give everything. So everything. You want to stop school? <laughs> no. I don't want to stop school. But I I can spend a lot of hours studying for an exam. I can spend a lesser number of hours studying for the same exam. At the end of the day, I'm going to pass it. So I better give the time to God. And Who's your beloved? I don't have one. So, what year are you in? I'm going to third year. Third year? Yes. I need five applicants. Please. The form costs $100. The form. So if you are interested, bring the money. This is fake dollars, so is it real dollars? Fake dollars. May 
nobody marry you with fake dollars. It shows that the guy himself is a fan. He's fake. But I think, how many of you think that she is, she has taken the seed and she is planting it in her own field? Yeah. Clap your hands for her. What's your name? What's your name? Iris. 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 Clap your hands for Iris. Where's that fake guy? Come and collect your fake. Clap your hands for Iris again, if you said Iris. Right. A guy from here. What have you learned, Rakam? Here. A guy. No, the dollars, the fake guy. Tell us. Give me the microphone. He's not fake, he's genuine. He's just using fake dollars, that's all. Yes, what have you learned at the camp? Are you using a fake microphone? Hello? Good. Okay. Bishop, thank you. I actually like the practical, like, the message is so practical. As in when Bishop asked the elder, the chief, of his readiness, as in, what will he do? I'm so surprised. I have not thought of all these things before. And he's just giving the answers. No, because the time you spent acquiring fake dollars, he used it to think. Thank you. <laughs> you shouldn't be surprised. While you were chasing fake dollars, he was thinking. Why you not thinking? I didn't chase it. It was my... it was it was given to you. <laughs> no, yeah, it, and it came like I before it I like, came it into your book. Like, uh, hey. <laughs> Are you a Malam? <laughs> no. Are you a 419? No, no, no. <laughs> Alright, so, so practically, yes, we thank God for His answer. But what has occurred to you? What have you learned at the camp so far? I've learned that if... Yes. If Careful, I'm coming to somebody. I'm coming to you, right? I've seen you. Hmm. If I don't make changes... I have so many things to change. Eh, so many things. Why, uh, why should you change things? I said, me for instance, um, time. I have, so, my, I have time. You have time for what? Time to just sit down quiet and not do anything. I, yes, I'm quiet, not talking to anyone, locked up, and I won't do anything. You are just sitting there. Just sitting down. Were you an idol before you were born? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Just sitting there. Yeah, sitting so now, yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. So now, what are you going to change? I have to make good time. Good use, use of, of my time. time. Until uh, the time will make good use of me. Wow, how yeah. will the time make good use of me? I think it's just a matter of time. I'll just go wayward. Wow. Yes. Are you an elder? Assistant. Assistant elder. Yes, please. What else have you learned? And also, I've learned, I want to share this. Share. Always, Bishop, allow him to share. Always, Bishop asks us that we can be, the Spirit can talk to us. Yesterday I was sitting here, and I was writing my notes as you were talking. When you came in, I was, so, I was really writing the notes he was, and then he told me to shut up. The Spirit told me to shut up. So, I was quiet. And then, Bishop, yesterday when we were talking, it's not you. It's not you. Yes. My uncle came here. No. You, my, you, my younger brother. 
Yesterday, yesterday. It's not me. I can I could differentiate. Hello. Yesterday I could differentiate. If the spirit is like you have been the spirit is using you, I think. But this time around, the spirit himself was the one speaking, I'm telling you. So so Wow. So 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 what was that? It it it, it was a direct warning. Direct warning. I see. Direct. The spirit I've was never speaking. seen you preach like that before. But yesterday wow. you always see me preaching eh? yes, normally. I see you. You see me. But yesterday it was so direct. It was different. Different. It's not you. Wow. Yeah. Yes. I I left when I left. Yes. I, we closed. I slept around three. I went to I just, was just lying there, I couldn't sleep. And he asked me why 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 he asked me to put the pen down. He said, we write as if you are going to write notes. He told me that. Like you are going to write exams. So it would be wise if you listen to what attentively and then go and listen to the message and write the note. After all, I should go and listen to the message and write the note. Yeah. So so clap clap your hands for you, clap for you. So you were there and you saw the fake dollar. So what are you going to do with it? With the fake oh, I don't do anything with it at all. So you are going to use it to buy forms. <laughs> like she really touched me, like what she said. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I actually wanted to know that. Like I really, she was speaking. Yeah, no, not oh, by before she spoke or not during that. when she was speaking. When I she was speaking. To, yes, it's really the words. Yeah, the words. It means a lot. That's what I just wanted to know it. You. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it, it's meaningful. It's very it's, yes, please. Meaningful. You think she's deep? Yes, she's really deep. She's very spiritual. Very spiritual. And are you on the same campus? No, please. Where are you? I'm in Kolebu. You are in Kolebu? Yes, please. And, and, and where is she? She is coming to Kolebu. So, Iris, just get up and wave at him. Just wave. Just wave. Just wave. Foolish boy. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. It's very good to even value the depth of spirituality of people. Yeah. So that when it's time to marry, you don't just marry. the Lord said to you at the camp? Not you. Yes? Um, my name is Laura. I'm from Kolibu Church. It looks um, like it's a Kolibu affair. <laughs> Why? Why is it so Kolibu? The spirit. The spirit. The spirit. Okay. Yes, what have you learned? Um, for me, practically, I've learned how to fight and fight well. Eventually. How to do what? Fight and fight, fight. well. Well. Yes. So as you can see that um, we are fighting for the Lord, but it's, um, our spirituality may not be very strong. For me, per se, some, I really struggle sometimes to pray for long hours. Because I'm someone that I always want to do something. I always have to finish something, go somewhere. Uh-huh. <laughs> you are so, always on the move. Yeah. 
I'm always sorting out things. I have to go and see somebody. So my main issue now is to fight well. That's spend more hours in prayer, try to be alone with the Lord. So that's what I'm, I've that's learned. Very good. That's, and, and, and you should be honest with yourself to know that you are not at the place where she's talking about. Amen. That you are not spiritual. That's why I was saying that do not equate being around spiritual people with being spiritual. Do you see the point? Yeah. And um, when you are able to see in yourself that you lack certain things, certain spiritual activities, you know, you are able to now do what you must do. Instead of deceiving yourself that you are spiritual, you are an elder, you are fine, everything is okay. Only to discover that, Charlie, the train has left and you have not even arrived at the train station. Do you see? So that's powerful. What else have you learned? Well, and when, when Bishop was talking about the, the strategies in warfare, like surprise attack, and um, surprise as in saying sorry to someone who has offended you and actually taking steps to um, going back to clear the atmosphere so the devil doesn't come in to destroy you. So you must make a move. Yeah. You must surprise the devil. Yes. By right. apologizing and then also clearing the air, talking to the person. And so again, clear which air? And sometimes, well, for, I'll say for ladies, when you say you are sorry to someone, you, you just say, okay, I'm sorry, but I don't really but, mean it. <laughs> really mean it so, so you need to. Yeah, really mean it by going back to the person. Try to talk to the person. Okay. <laughs> to just clear the just air. Clear the air. Yeah. And also, that is talking about U-turns and um, U-turns. Yeah, U-turns. As in, anytime, uh, okay, let's say for me, there was a time in my life that I had to take a U-turn and I seriously had to pray to God to die to me. And I just took it, and I'm well planted in the church, and I'm grateful. Did your life get better when you took it? Yes, it did. u Yes. How many of you have u turns to make? u turns. Okay. Can you, microphone, can you tell me one or two u turns you must make? Anyone? A u turn. Or it's first now. One or two, this way. One or two U-turns you must make. Sorry. All right. Yes. Okay, one. Just one U-turn you must make. Uh, the U-turn I want to take now is that before I came to First Lord, just my friend uh, introduced me to this church. So, like now I've decided since I've heard the message and everything that I really need to like work for the Lord. Are you going to be a pastor? Do you want to be a pastor one day? I want to minister to people. Not yeah. like I you want to minister to people, but like, not to be a pastor. Like counsel people. Counsel. Like, yeah. Okay. Like, Lord and right. Okay, go on. So, like now when Bishop was, was searching guys yesterday. When he was giving examples. So I see it was me he was referring to. I some see. of the examples he used. So which so particular U turn are you intending to make? I want to really work for the Lord. I mean, where were you headed towards and where, where are you going? I wasn't really that cold or hot for the Lord. But you're, not, you're not really cold or hot. Yeah, I was lukewarm. Let me just say something. Okay. And now you want to? I want to be hot. To be hot for the Lord. I'm hot for the law. 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 Clap your hands for her. Yeah. It's very powerful. Yes. One U turn you want to make. So, this type of half and half, you are in the church, you are also in the world, you are not straightforward. You jump and laugh with us. Then you've got another group that you, you are with. That type of duality. You see, you must fight it. Yeah. Otherwise, 
one of these days, you, you will come to a place where both halves would reject you. Yeah. The church and those people, they will all turn there because they will see that you are not a straightforward person. So choose and commit yourself. Choose and commit. Either you are here or you are there. But she is saying that she is going to do what? Commit to the Lord. To be hot for the Lord. Beautiful. I want to share something. Oh, share. Is it, is it working? Hello. Yes. Yeah, um, I wanted to say that this camp is a blessing to me. It's a seasonal camp. Because I've just completed school. And when I was coming for the camp, I, told God, I, I said, I want to be changed before I leave this camp. I want God to talk to me. You want elder? Then, yes. Good. And um, the word of God says that, and when the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. And as the word of God was come, you can see clearly that, like, this is the life. This is the life that you're about to start. And God is just directing you and leading you and telling you that this is it. Sometimes you may feel that maybe I'm good, you're a virgin, you're this, but you get married and you see that these are the same things that Bishop said. Mm. And you're facing it. Maybe you give birth to two children and then you realize that you are changing. You may think that, oh, maybe... Me or my, in my case, it will be different. Mm. But when the spirit of truth comes, this is, this is the truth that you want. And God is telling you that this is, this is the life. This is what is going to happen. This is it. So I'm really blessed. Amen. And, and everybody here must value this life. Amen. Value this life. Fight anything you must fight. Not to live this life. Whatever, who is, is that our boy again? Who is that? Fight whatever you must fight. <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. After school, in school, forced to enter. Send the leader, forced to enter the ministry. Yeah, forced to be a part of the ministry. Be inside. Amen. Because this is the life. And as he's saying, don't wait to grow up to discover that, hey, Charlie, that's you know, not knowing that there was nothing in it. And others took the decision years back and are advanced in it. And now you can't enter because of your age. Even your age alone will not help you. And the children who are calling you, ma, ma, oh, they are all around. You, you can't do much for the Lord. Amen. Amen. So that's powerful. God bless you. Yes. Thank you, Bishop. Oh, what I learned was that when Bishop was uh, talking about the Boaz, it happening to Boaz or Ruth happening to Boaz, it, it's like. What came into my mind was that I was laughing at Boaz that something like that happened to him. And then we were all laughing. But I, I, I learned that Boaz, although it Ruth happened to him, it was a good thing that happened. But some of us may not be that lucky that a good thing may happen to us. So we so, should take the step to take the decision to I have to make it work before a bad thing or a worse thing happens to us. Yeah. That was what I learned. That, that is, and that is a fact, fact, fact. You see? Yeah. Especially in the area of your relationship, marriage, and so on. I mean, I don't think the sisters here are bad. I mean, they are good. <laughs> mm. So if you are here, second year, third year, you are finishing, do you see, and your eyes are on some Marisa Bell somewhere. <laughs> this is the point. Yeah. If you don't act, you are going to follow something. You see, there is no greater blessing than the blessing of marrying someone who hears what you hear, has heard what you've heard. I mean, 
you 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 think powerfully. You think. But if you are here, look at the things you are hearing. And she is somewhere. I tell you. I tell you. And you see that scripture not being unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Do you see? Unbelievers, anyone who doesn't believe what you believe, is an unbeliever. If I believe something, and you don't believe it, with respect to that issue, you are an unbeliever. So you, you may be a Christian. A lot of terrible marriages are seen among Christians. Church-going Christians. You see, they are all in church. They all flow. But there is a mismatch. Because the woman believes something that the guy doesn't believe. Or the guy believes something. So, the best place to find someone to marry, to my mind, is a place like this. Because the things you are hearing are strong. Yeah, and that anybody who is not here and doesn't know what you know, and what you are hearing will greatly inform the decisions you are going to take. A lot of the things you will do hereafter will be based on the things you are hearing. You see, so if you go and marry somebody who hasn't heard what you've heard, if a good person may, may, may be turned into an evil person, that's because she doesn't know what you know. She doesn't know what you know. So, so it, is, it is really very important that you, you, you tread cautiously, especially if you are here, this is your second camp, your fourth camp. Your fifth come. I tell you, you, you are going to disturb. Unless you yourself, you are not genuine. Yeah, and it's also possible. You are here for other reasons. It's just, it's just a field trip, a, a, a social event. It, it's possible. But if you are really here because of the ministry, then you are going to worry somebody by marrying the person. A, a good person can be turned into a bad person. That's because the person doesn't know what you know. I tell you, if I were you, my beloved will come from this subset. How do you do subset in school? Oh, how nice it will be. Woo! We are going for a camp together. We are doing missions together. We are starting a church together. I mean, I, I, I would love to be a part of such a romantic church. <laughs> yeah. But you want to start a church? You want to do missions? You've got to marry a Christian. But she doesn't understand these things. Suddenly, because of your energy and your fire and your zeal, a good Christian somewhere has now been turned into an antichrist anti-ministry, anti-God. Then you will rather begin to say that she's a devil, God, God. I mean, uh, she, she, she's, she's, she's a, um, what do you call it? She's not spiritual. Meanwhile, you were also not spiritual until you heard what you have heard. So, note it carefully. Being mismatched to an unbeliever that word unbeliever is not just a wee smoker, a non church person, somebody who is not born again. He's also an unbeliever. But you can have a church person who is an unbeliever with respect to an issue. And now, for us here, the issue is not tithe or offering. The issue is ministry. Fighting to stay in the ministry. Fighting to serve God. I want to ask again, how many of you want to serve God? You want to be in the ministry? You stand up and look at the hands. Almost everybody here wants to be in the ministry. Then you go and marry an unbeliever. An unbeliever in lighthouse. Yes? With respect to the ministry, there are unbelievers. I tell you, there are people who don't believe these things. Yeah. A member of my church one day told one of my shepherds, 
that she shouldn't waste her time attending this type of shepherd's training, this thing. They are just using a, a tight paying church member. She doesn't believe it. She's a Christian. She's in light out. We are here. You are going to marry a good Christian, a very good singer from Pentecost. A praise and worship leader. Who doesn't know anything about missions or whatever? Me or you, you are here. You are being fired up by the second to serve God. And suddenly, a good person becomes a devil in your life. Me or it is not a devil. A lot of the devils in our lives, we made them devils. You made them a devil. I'm telling you, if I have any treasure to give you a the treasure is that uh, look through. Scan. 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 I'm telling you, I'm telling you, what is happening here is by by any measure, it's not a small thing. It's not one of those gatherings and one of those meetings. It's not even a church service. It's not even a Sunday church service. It's a very wild meeting we are having here. And anybody who is here and is hearing what you are hearing, I tell you, must be a friend to you. Must be a friend to you. Must be a friend to you. Clap your hands for Jesus. Are you being blessed? Are you being blessed? Do you believe great things are going to happen to you? Yeah. Fight and fight and fight. And you'll be, you'll be happy you fought. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus.